is bim a good career for me or not this is one of the most asked questions for me in 2024 a lot of architecture students a lot of architecture professionals have asked me this question is bim a good career or not so i decided to make a video on it based on my experience based on my peers experience there are a lot of architects practicing bim as their full time job in the industry and especially in canada so i know what happens in bim industry what are the things that you don't get to do when you move to a bim bim project or bim manager's role and what are the things that you need to consider before switching to bim industry so guys without any delays let's get started with the video so first thing that happens when you move into bim from architecture is that you lose the side of designing so that's very plain answer that i can give and very short answer that i can give so if you love design if you are into design and you don't like softwares that much like you just know how to visualize things you know how to design things plan things all of these things then i think so bim is not the uh profession that you want to go in or line of profession that you want to go in because bim is more about management of a project bim is more about controlling the different aspects of the project how a project will get streamlined how the data of the project can be generated and used for further documentation how a model a 3d model will be managed on a software so all of these things come into umbrella of bim and as a bim coordinator bim modeler or bim uh, manager you will be managing these aspects of a project a bim modeler is still a person who can have say in some designs who can have say in some of the project aspects of designs but as a bim modeler also you will be focusing more on the parametric sides of a model for example the requirements of different families the uh, how the model will be managed and how the model is shared and the design will be done by an architecture team an architecture technologist or whoever it is and a bim modeler will be taking that design and just making it into a model so basically you won't be having an active say in design but of course you can put some say into design but again bim modeler as a career is not a career it's just you are modeling objects because you are an architect you will definitely not just want to make models right that's what intern architects or junior level architects do they don't design they take the design and make a model so you definitely don't want that but if you want to grow in the career of bim one thing that you need to consider is you have to have knowledge of revit or any bim authoring software to the core of it you need to know how a project will start what are the requirements for the bim and how the project will be delivered to the client this is the entire process that bim take care of and the architecture part is in between so bim managers project managers are over here the client is over here and the delivery process is where the architects the architecture manager or the senior architects all of them are working in between us we are overtaking the project caring what things are going well what things are not going well in a project software wise and even even on the schedule wise because bim managers and project managers do have a say in how things will be delivered so we are taking care of this process so you are taking yourself out from the design part of a project and becoming the managerial part of a project so it is like that and you are more into software based management of a project not actual project project management so first thing you will lose the design uh say in the project second thing you will lose the exposure of on site because bim managers as bim managers like very rarely we go on a site to check something if it's done right or wrong that's the responsibility of project manager construction manager contractors 
and even the senior architects who have been doing the design. For us, as into BIM industry, our process is to see every week how the model is being maintained, what are the things that are not right in the model, what are the warnings that are coming up in the model, what are the health check requirements, and what level of health is the model is at and is everything being done as we have decided in the starting of the project. So these are the things that a BIM uh, manager coordinator will do. So you have to make your mind. For example, like I am into BIM industry. If you would ask me, am I 100% happy? Am I the uh, happiest person right now? I would say no. Because my core, my soul lies into design. I still crave that, oh, if I can get something to design, if I get something to render or do something with design. So you will be like me if you are into design. So think about it and take your decision uh, wisely based on my input over here. And one more thing that happens when you switch from architecture industry to BIM industry is you lose the linkage of design you sometimes you are so out of the design part that sometimes you don't even know the design that is going on you just know the software part of the entire project and how the project is being delivered what are the things that are going to be delivered at what point they are going to be delivered so again I would say take your decision wisely. The next point that I'm going to talk about is, is it a healthy career based on how much money you will get? So I would say, yes, it's a good career to be in. You lose the track of design, but you know a lot about software. You get acceptability into very different kind of firms. Like for example, like I am getting offers from hardcore engineering, structural engineering firms right now. I don't know shit about like structural designs or like how uh, structural reinforcement will be going on, how the calculations are done. I know the basics, of course, but not actual thing that can be constructed. I'm not licensed for it, right? So in BIM, what happens is you can still do that. You can still go into any, any branch of construction and be successful over there. So it opens more perspective to you. Plus the pay is a little bit more than an architecture technologist or a senior architecture a technologist or an architect. If you are a senior BIM manager, your salary will be on par with a senior architect, if not more. So just consider this part. Here, we are doing masters of architecture, doing architecture for five years, and a person who has just completed his civil engineering, and he has knowledge of all these softwares and construction and Revit and all of these things, he can be earning as much as you are earning in less time and probably a little bit lesser efforts. Like I'm not saying that efforts are lesser in BIM industry, you have to take into consideration a lot of things. But the thing is guys, uh, if you see the timeline of growth in BIM industry, it's faster as compared to in architecture or in hardcore designing part. So you will grow very fast. Because in an architecture firm, if you are an architect, you will become junior architect, work one or two years, then become senior architect, then you will work three or four years, then you will become a principal architect, or you might not even become a principal architect, you might even become just an associate, senior associate or something like that. So your journey becomes way much longer than a person who is into BIM. So, Take into consideration all of these things. I'm not saying that go for BIM or go behind money, but also consider what do you want in life? Do you like softwares or not? And if you do love softwares, if you love the technical parts of the uh, design or drawings, I would say go ahead, try out this career as well. And definitely, if you don't like it, you can definitely switch again back to architecture. But of course, you have lost some experience in uh, architecture and design part, but you have some experience in BIM. 
So it's plus and minus, but I would say the plus is more in BIM than into architecture. But if you are into design, then architecture is definitely the plus side. So take your decision wisely and guys, if you like this video, please go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel.